And here's how the AC current works. You see this washing machine right here? See the washing machine agitator? I'm going to put my clothes in here. Can you see that? Look at the motor underneath there again. Notice all it is, it's a region that contains water and it's got a paddle like that. And notice that, that paddle is hooked up here and I want to make this thing go chung, 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 chung. That's what I want to do, right? And notice down here, it's all watertight and I got that paddle. Notice these two leads. See they're lucite, you can even see right through them, okay? Filled with water, yeah? See those two holes in the wall? Watch this, that's the power company. Chung. I put it right in there. Look in that hole, you know what you see? You see a, you see a couple of pumps like this. Chung, 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 chung. That's all I got. That's what the power company does. Okay, so you put this in. Okay, you connect it. Boom! What's your water doing now? The water. Can you see it? Over here. What's it doing over here to the paddle? What's happening? Your washing machine? Water power. Hey, water power. Helps you wash your clothes. We do the same thing without water. Guess what you use instead of water, game? Begin with E. Electrons. The electrons in a piece of copper wire. You can make those things slosh back and forth too. And you plug it in the plug in your house and what do you do? What the power company does, it'll just, it'll just move them. And by the way, did you catch in the chapter? How many electrons come from the power plant to your house annually? About. A lot or a little? Answer, don't begin with an L. What's the answer, gang? How many electrons come from the power company into your home in about one year? One year's time. What's, give, give me an answer. Zero. Yeah, zero. None. The power company doesn't send any electrons at all to you. That power company says, you give me something chock full of let loose electrons, honey, and we'll, we'll make a move. See, that pipe that was filled with water, you got to supply the water. You look inside there, honey, it's dry. There's just two pistons, okay? And they're going to push the water you supply. And when every time you take a piece of wire and you plug it in to light up a lamp, honey, that wire is chock full of loose electrons. And those electrons are like that, right? You plug it in there, they all start moving like this. And they're moving, that's energy, honey, that's energy. And then energy go to whatever you want it to do. So all that, all that wire is going to do is deliver energy from one place to another by just shaking the electrons. It turns out the electric field, electric field guides right through that wire. And all the electrons along that wire start responding to the field. First, and then this way. They must get mixed up, man. They don't know what to do. They just keep sloshing back and forth. Back, forth, back, forth, 60 times per second. We call that 60 hertz. And that's what your AC current is.